This week I'd like to introduce to you the sumo stands, bow stands and creepy crawlers for your dance break with the Nia technique. Creepy crawlies is a finger technique where we learn how to involve all the joints of the fingers, including the finger that is inside of your hand. So the movement is very gentle and it includes all of the parts. And if you like, you combine it with a little bit of a creepy laughter. <laughs> so it gets a little bit of a, a character. And then I have with me the sumo stance that you can playfully do on the floor with your hands like this. And in the legs, the sumo stance is the widest one that we have. And I'm showing to you how you can find the measurements in your sumo stance, feet are parallel, and you want your arms and shoulders to hang inside so that when you come up, you are on something that we call sumo riding stance. So it has a very bouncy quality. And then the third one is going to be your bow stance. And today I want to explain it and show it from the ground up. So the bow stance is where you pull one foot back, turn the toes in on the front foot, and you learn to sense stability and mobility simultaneously. Now, if you step into it when you are tall, you may miss the detail of finding that part of the hip that you need to engage to have stability on the front foot, 70% of your weight, and with the foot turned in, a chance to engage the hip and the loose back. So you can do your stances from a grounded position in order to find the power in the dance of the stance. Sumo stance, bow stance and creepy crawlers with weekly tips. Now let's move with them to music. <laughs> 